Uh, that's a nice spread of boats to uh, downwind. And, um, pretty quickly after the first couple of races, most people realise there's a big benefit on being on the left-hand side downwind. So um, the, the, re the reason is, I mean, uh, is really well, the, the, the reason when you get to the Lord Mark, so let's just draw. Was that only at the top of the course that it was? There's a tactical advantage. Yeah, I'm not talking about the wind okay. right now. Looking the proximity of your heads like that way. Right, so um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, interesting. <laughs> That's an interesting answer. So you race We'll never get back on topic now. So you see you race a fair point from the wind perspective, alright? We just we just said there's a load of bows up here. And so ideally, if you went too low too quickly, you're probably going to lose some wind first. And uh, um, you've got to balance that because um, the guys on the left are going to get the inside overlap of that, that load of mark, and they're almost certainly going to be ahead. And so uh, what, what happened as the, as the race is developed, a lot of people were this, and the judge very quickly after the uh, wind of mark accepted a little bit of slow speed at first, but tried to get the inside uh, overlap at the end. Which side is left? So, left as the perspective of going down. So, <laughs> so when, when you're going towards a lured market, you're going around it. Yep. Uh, no, no, no. I just want everyone to understand that you meant. Yes, <laughs> this on is the left. left. <laughs> yes, okay. And so, uh, the, um, and the reason that's so important is um, uh, the, right now, let's have a look, all these folks are overlapped. This guy is, is, is fifth out of five. But pretty much, as soon as he gets here, he's going to be first out of five. And so he's, 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 not, he's not anywhere near this guy, but he's overlapped, he's overlapped, he's overlapped. He's got the right to every single person when the first person gets to the three boat next circle. Kind of a crappy circle, but... Um, so as soon as this first boat breaks the circle... I'll do it a bit better. If it, here he's fifth, here he's first. And that's why you know, getting that inside overlap is so very important at the, uh, at the uh, Lured Mark. And, the giant mark's not, not so likely because uh, typically if you're on a reach and uh, there's so much dirty air, this guy won't be able to do this. But when the wind comes behind, you squeak your nose in there and you've suddenly overtaken like, several boats. What happened in the, in the final race or I think penultimate race is um, the wind filled in from behind a lot. And so uh, what you had was uh, a number of boats that were all overlapped here and a couple of boats that were not overlapped. And the wind in from behind, and these boats came in very fast. But they had no rights, they had no room. And so um, they thought, well, shit, what are we doing now? <laughs> so in the end, what happened was, uh, I don't know to be frank, you, you, you were this boat here, and Julia was this boat here. I mean, ideally, you should see that happening, and you need to go, you need to go around. <coughs> right, yeah, it's, uh, yeah so, so you see that coming, and if you see the wind coming, and you, and you realise you're not allowed to go in there, but he's a bear off and slow down and hopefully he'll come in. Hopefully. These boats are going to go around like this, probably. And if you come in, you'll at least overtake these two boats if you don't get this one. But uh, what ended up happening. What ended up happening was you, know, you, you ended up coming round and missing the mark. Now it's much better than T-boating someone who's down here. <laughs> but very, very easily you get to it. You go very fast and you. You think I must get round that mark, and you haven't got to. You haven't got to smash uh, uh, into another boat going the mark, you know. But that's not a good racing move. You, you've, you've got to bear off and, uh, and realize it's happening first, and then you have to create that space. Yeah. Yeah, and it was quite intense because there were like six boats in a width wise. It was, it was tricky, and that's why you got me looking around and, uh, and working out what's going to be happening in in, 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 uh, in twenty or thirty seconds time. Full story really was these folks. <laughs> these folks are all on port, okay? And you, and you guys are on port. Yeah. And then when the wind changed, and you giant, you both you both giant towards the starboard. You, when you, after the incident? No, be before it happens. So you giant towards the starboard. And you have right of way, but really when you're coming here, and, and, and you are out of the three boat lengths when you giant towards the starboard. Although you've got right of way, it's very hard to realistically expect all these guys to drive so quickly. In the incident with, with Julia, there was three port boats, Maria, this port, 
we report Julia was for it. After we jived, it was yeah. it was over. There was no yeah. Was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So so you jived. That's right. Really right. Yeah. But to actually realise that right oh, yeah, away, we shouldn't have been in there at all. Yeah. But yeah. right, this guy's got a head up. This guy's got a head up. This guy. We were in bad company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, they were in bad company. <laughs> anyway, my point was. You've got to anticipate that, that happening, and, uh, and that happens sometimes. You get this big gust of wind, and the guys who've got the rights over you That's what are very was slow. Before we knew it, everyone was yeah. Like, yeah. As soon as you overlap the wrong side of those guys, it's game over, and you've got to, you've got to do an attack or something. But you need to be yeah. disciplined enough to know when to Okay, and it's going to get ugly.